Chanzele. I'm riding the Harley Davidson single cylinder, single speed, model 7A, 1911. Uh, the bike that's going to win the motorcycle cannonball. Right on. We are taking Indians down, left and right. Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil, Team Jersey Devil, that's ours. I'm from Barnegat, New Jersey, and my bike number is 44. And this is it. No engine modifications currently, but we're probably just gonna freshen the motor up a bit. Just threw this motor in here now, took it off the shelf last week, and it hasn't run in probably 50 years, and we got it running yesterday real good. Me and Sean did, we are working on it. This is not gonna be the seat we're using. It's way too skinny and small. We're probably gonna be using a messenger uh, seat is a little bit bigger. It was, it was a project bike that I was working on for the last 15 years, just throwing parts at it. And when I heard about the motorcycle cannonball, I decided to move it forward to the front of the pile of the, I have a lot of early 315 bikes. So that's, that's our team, the Jersey Devil team. We're from New Jersey, Barnegat, uh, home of the Jersey Devil. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to doing it. And uh, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And we're taking advantage of it, we're going for it. And we're gonna, like I say, wiping Indians off the map. Indians don't have a chance. And there's Sean with his 1911 Indian. He thinks he's going to go somewhere with it. It's not going to happen. So we're on it. The gas is coming down. You see it's dripping down now? The flow pole's full. So now we can, I don't have all the controls hooked up to this bike because we're just bare bones in it right now. So here we go. This piece of leather gasket is broken, and that is the problem right there. So the flapper valve doesn't want to seal anymore, and that's part of the carburetor that runs this bike. This is a preview. Yeah, it's just going to be like going across country. Uh -huh. we'll definitely have this thing running for the race. I'm just like I said, I just took this motor off the shelf last week. It's been sitting, hasn't run in 50 years. The uh, flapper valve piece that broke off the carburetor got sucked into the flap, the intake valve, which I just took off the bike, the atmospheric intake valve, and there's that piece that, flew off, that came off the flapper valve, that old flapper valve. So here we go. Here's an instant repair. Look at that. Valve's working real nice. Here we go. We're putting it back in the machine. Hopefully right up. Like this. Start it right up. Yeah, snap. Instant repair. That'll be $90, please. <laughs> cannibal all across country to make these things go to do the mileage. I think we're going to be able to get this motor dialed in and I'll have fewer and fewer problems as I run the bike. And doing the cannibal is just something I want to do for fun, but we're doing it. Here 
track racer, it's overhead valve. I think it's a 1915 overhead board track racer. That's a pretty amazing machine. And here he comes again.